Hello mga ka Buttercup! If you are new to our channel, please like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video! Good day everyone! In this lecture video, we are going to talk about the arthropod. Phylum Arthropoda contains a wide diversity of animals with hard exoskeletons and jointed appendages. An exoskeleton is a hard covering that supports and protects the bodies of some types of animals. The word exoskeleton means outside skeleton. Many invertebrates or animals without backbones have exoskeletons. Insects are the largest group of animals that have an exoskeleton. The term jointed appendages, on the other hand, refers to the appendages that have joints. Legs, antenna, wings, and mouth parts are examples of arthropods' jointed appendages. Next, arthropods are considered the most successful animals on Earth. So, nga man sila gi considered the most successful animals on Earth. The reasons for that or for their success are as follows. They have jointed legs that allow more mobility on land, hard exoskeleton made of chitin that protects the body, their body. The hard exoskeleton also reduces water loss from the body of arthropods, making them more adapted to terrestrial conditions. Next sad is the word arthropod is from the Greek root words arthro, meaning joint, and pod, meaning foot. And it refers to a unique feature of the group, the jointed legs called appendages, which vary widely in number and function. Arthropod are also reached a fossil record extending to the very late Precambrian period or the early life. Carnivory or the other team, other term as the meat eater, herbivory, they are herbs eater, and omnivore, which mo eat siya og herbs or meat. Tapos, they are also, ay arthropods also helps us in pollination, food in ecosystem, and generate product like silk, honey beeswax, and dyes. Many of them are pollinators. Meaning, as they feed on nectar from the flowers, they also gather the pollen on their bodies and spread it around as they go from flower to flower. Example, ani nila nga arthropods are the beetles, the flies, the ants, the moths, the butterflies, the bumblebees, the honeybees, the solitary bees, and the wasps. So, here are some examples of the arthropods. Now, let's proceed to the relationship among arthropod subgroups. They are ectizoans, protosomes belonging to a clade panarthropoda. Ectizoans or the ectozoa includes arthropoda and nematoda animals. Example of that is grasshopper. Panarthropoda. Panarthropoda, which is a clade that contains extant phyla like arthropoda, Tardigrada or the water bears, and the onycopora or the velvet worms. They have segmented bodies. A chitinumous cuticle often contains calcium and jointed exoskeleton. Exoskeleton is the one that is covering the, and supports the animals and it also protects them from other predators. All arthropods possess mouth parts called mandible. Mandible is a pair of mouth pairs good for biting, for holding its food. Arthropods that don't have mandibles possesses chelicerae, uniramous appendages leg or the single branch, and the biramous appendages legs. Next, in this slide, it explains what is the difference between the, uniram the uniramous and the biramous and also the chelicerae and the mandibles. So, let's look it carefully. Uniramus has two legs and Byramus has two branches 
involves endopod and exopod. Next, in arthropod mouth parts, the chalicerae and the mandibles. At, as what I've said, example of the mandible is the grasshopper it, that has one left mandible and one right mandible. This animals, this animal has a mandible which is used for her or for himself to feed. Next is the chalicerae. Chalicerae has also example of a chalicerae is a spider and its chalicerae also supports and help them to hold the food that they are eating. The five arthropod subphyla. There are five arthropod subphyla under the arthropoda, namely the Mariapoda, the Hexapoda, the Chalicerata, and the Crustacea and Trilobita. In this um, topic, we only covered up three arthropod subphyla, which are the Mariapoda, the Chalicerata, and the Trilobita. Under Mariapoda are centipede, millipedes, pauropods, and symphalians. Under hexapoda are insects. And under chalicerata are arachnids, spiders, pickles, and horseshoe crab. Under crustacea are lobster, crabs, barnacles, and tongue worms. And under trilobita are the extinct trilobites. Manipulate hypothesis. Critics of the manipulate hypothesis argue that the mandibles in each group are so different from each other that they could not be homologous. Mandibles of crustaceans are multi-jointed with chewing or biting surfaces on the mandibles basis. So, in conclusion, Mandibles or the manibulata unites the non chalicerate arthropods in a clade and recovered the phylogenic analysis. Characteristics of phylum Arthropoda So the first is joint appendages. So this refers to appendages that have joints. So the legs, um, mouth parts, and wings are example of arthropods appendages. So next is living in marine, freshwater, terrestrial habitats, and capable to fly. So ang mga arthropods makalivra sila sa marine, sa water, freshwater, sa forest, sa uh, grassland, or desert. Sa desert. And also makalupad ang mga arthropods. Some of arthropods. So next is they are free living and parasitic taxa. So when we say free living, um, it refers to organisms which are not directly dependent to another organism for survival. So next is bilateral symmetry. Segmented body divided into functional group called tagmata, head and trunk, throat and abdomen, or cephalothorax and abdomen. So when we say bilateral symmetry, um, it refers to an organisms with body shapes that are mirror images along midline called a uh, sagittal plane. So the internal organs of these animals are not necessarily distributed uh, symmetrically. So bilaterally uh, symmetrical animals have a uh, dorsal side which is the top, ventral side which is the bottom, and they have distinct uh, left and right side so they have also um, they have also an interior side which is the head and posterior side which is the tail and they exhibit a uh, civilization when we say civilization it is the clustering of sensory organs at the interior so a body plan that arouse because animals use forward motions and so this end is the first to encounter the environmental stimuli to which an organism must react. So butterflies is a perfect example 
uh, of near perfect uh, bilateral symmetry. So, example ni siya since dili karakay ang iyang body shape kay maka ma divide into a uh, symmetrical halves but also ang iya ganing wings ang um, wings sa butterfly kay same same sila sa ang left left ang pattern sa wings sa left side kay same same sa kana right side and next is triploblastic body so triploblasts are organism whose body is derived from all, all three germs layers which are the endoderm mesoderm and ectoderm so the triploblastic animals or the arthropods is one of the is one of a uh, triploblastic animal which are those animals were in during their embryonic development the third layer which is the mesoderm forms between the endoderm which is the lower layer and ectoderm in the upper layer so i will not expound na lang the kanang characteristics since i discuss siya sa next slides so another characteristics of phylum arthropoda are reduced coilem corticular exoskeleton complete digestive system complex muscular system nervous system similar to annelids well developed sensory organ parthenogenesis in some taxa yeah, sex is usually separate, separate with pair of uh, reproductive organ and ducts and arthropods usually have an internal fertilization pero some of uh, them also have external uh, fertilization like the oviparous, viviparous, or the ovoviviparous, and often uh, metamorphosis. And they have also a uh, paired excretory, excretory gland called the coxal antennal. That's antennal, guys. That's not antennal. And the maxillary gland uh, others with excretory organs also called the malfigian tubules and they have also open circulatory system with dorsal contractile heart arteries and hemocoil so wala na feel the slide but na pa uh, line characteristic which is respiration by body surfa surface, gills, trachea, or book lungs. Subphylum trilobita. So trilobites probably arose before Cambrian period in which they were flourished. They have been extinct for 245 million years but were abundant during uh, the Cambrian and Ordovician period. So their names, the trilobita, refers to the trilobed shape of the body in cross section caused by a pair of longitudinal groups. So trilobites were dorsi ventrally flattened bottom dwellers and they probably scavengers so most of them could roll up like pill box or the isopods and they range from 2 to 67 centimeters in length so despite their antiquity the trilobita were highly specialized antrophobes <coughs> Their exoskeleton contained chitin, which strengthened in some areas by calcium carbonate. So the trilobita were, uh, they have three tagmata in their body. So the head, also called the cephalon, second is the trunk, and third one is the pygidium. So their cephalon 
was one piece but showed sign of ancestral segmentation. Their trunk had a variable number of segments and segments of pygidium at the posterior end were fused into plate. So their cephalon bore a pair of antennae and compound eyes, a mouth, and four pair of leg-like appendages. So the trilobita were no through true mouth parts, but they have a hypostome likely serve in feeding. So each body segment of the trilobita except the last also bore a pair of Beromus appendages. And one of the branches had a fringe of filaments that may have served as gills. So the picture in the slide is an example of trilobite fossil kaning ibabaw. Kanang obos kay Europe third fossil kay sa next discussion pa na sa class misotomata. So kana rang ibabaw mo na siya ay uh, trilobita. So that's all for the subphylum trilobita. Subphylum silicerata or the vision period from 4 or for 5 million years ago, for 45 million years ago, tagmata. Cephalothorax or prosoma and abdomen or opetosoma. So, cephalothor cephalothorax means the fuse head and the thorax of spiders and other silicerate anthropods. So, murasyag kuan ka ng ang ulo gani niya, yung thorax, which is the Nang the part of the body of a mammal between the neck and the abdomen including the cavity enclosed by the ribs kanang murag wala siya iliob no siya thorax ay when we say kanang cephalothorax it is those kanang kuan nga mura siya gulay liob her head and kanang di rin niya is kanang fuse ba siya rausa ay naosa siya without the without the neck itself so mura siya mga ato mga spiders the arachnid class nga wala si leo and then when we say the opetosoma it is it refers to the posterior portion of the body of an anthropod especially when unsegmented or when the segmented is obscured so did muna siya kani if we go further to the discussion mura ni siya kanaganing sa lower part or sa dorsal the posterior part, kung sabaki pa siya, posterior part sa subphylum celicerata. Okay, six pairs of cephalothoracic appendages, a pair of celicerae, a pair of pedophiles, four pair of legs, and had no antennae. So, muna siya ang characteristics sa subphylum celicerata. And suck liquid from prey. Suck liquid food from prey. So, kabantay mo nang mag... Kuhaan ka na ganing mga kaka or ganun siya. Sila serata mo na siya or mga, ay, kanang mga kuan, mga baka, mga kasag. Most of them kay, hindi na siya mukha o nagkuan, mura na subsupon. Mura siya mga karakteristik sa subphylum sila serata. Okay, so there are three classes under the subphylum sila serata, which is the class Merostomata, class Sinodonida, and the class Arachnida. Okay, let's tackle the first class, which is the class Merostomata. Contains eurypterids, all now extinct, and cyphosaurids or horseshoe crabs, which are sometimes called living fossils because extant form the jumbo or division fossil. So, this class contains eurypterids. What is a eurypterid? These these are marine anthropods that existed sometimes in the Paleozoic era, which is the time when where the dinosaur the dinosaurs also have existed and now these eurypterids are already extinct these eurypterids are characterized as or described as those large marine scorpions or scorpions living in the sea in the bottom of the sea these are what we call the eurypterids and the cyphosaurids or what you call the horseshoe crabs Gi katong na na bayar lang gibita ng oo yung man gi ano ano gibita ng ikum muto si horseshoe crabs ha dito siya po ano kanang 
na ano niya ka ng edukasyon na ng ikaw ka ng mga superstitious beliefs baka kung makita ko na yung lato sa baybayon kaya ako na yung pati nga mahitabo hmm ako nga ako ito for sure class and for sure crabs are sometimes called living fossils because wala man siya na change it did not undergo it did not undergone those what we call evolution since these kanang tali zoic fought this kanang mga these animals or these crabs have existed or their existence was before those before pa before pa yung kina kinakaraan at ito nang kasag mura siya mura siya nito siya living fossils kasi nana ang mga horseshoe crabs when eurypterids are still existing so meaning pagka extinct sa eurypterids sila na aja po so meaning dugay na sila example sa atong mga class meros class meros tomata muna siya ang mga horseshoe crabs it is what we call the horseshoe crab katong nang nasa tiktok sa mga nasa katong nagipa nila sa dalag sa baybay yung ibit na nila igaw kasi lang yan na ana kasi nga to sila pagi po ito yung stingray ha dito siya dito siya ka ng ka ng sa inga ka ng bata ng stingray ba yung dinay ng stingray yung tanong to stingray ha nagkasal yung tanong to and most of these horseshoe crabs their blood was ka ng studied and used for making medicines the class meros tomata has two subclasses which is those in the taxonomy lies under the class itself so it is called the subclass these two subclasses are the Siphosaurida and the Eurypterida first we will discuss the Eurypterida these are those what we call the Eurypterids or those giant water scorpions large fossil anthropods many features resemble to Siphosaurids or the horseshoe crabs segment and bore both simple and compound eyes well as cilicerae and pedipals they have four pairs of walking legs in the abdomen 12 segments of spike-like telson dominant predators so kani siya muna siya katong mga scorpio ni ba mga scorpio ito lang gagmay man so these subclass Eurypterida are giant water scorpions so they are those kind of scorpion that lies or lives in the water these kalang kwa na siya yung mga its defining characteristics are they it had six fused segment with a bore both simple and compound eyes so na siya yung kanang mga segmented nga nagdinay mga pangagpangag then it ganang kanang kwa siya muna siya mo exhibit o compound eyes tagkan siya yung mata tayo hindi siya limited into two eyes or one eye isa sa hitlops tagkan siya yung mata and they have four pairs of walking legs so na siya yung upat ka pair which is eight when you say pair it's two so na siya yung walong ka tiil and abdomen of segments na siya so siya yung diri kina yung dusi ka segment po so yung abdomen and then spock like telson kaning ng ego mo siya yung telson Anak ke anak saya, itu saya. Ayo, anak anak, basta. Saya ikut saya spike like telson. And they are dominant predators because because of its size. It's tidak sahaja predators, they're mostly large in nature, large in nature. And these giant water scorpions grow until would grow until the large would grow until three meters. So imagine. Scorpion tas 3 meters, dako pa nimo. Yeah, yeah. The another subclass was the subclass Siphosaurida or Siphosaurids. These are your horseshoe crabs. Ancient marine group from or division come from or division or those error period that have uh, that have uh, 445 years, 445 million years ago. Common crab, Lumulus has three genera survive muna siya kuan muna sub subspecies sa kuan kaling limulus carcino corpius and tichopius which will they live in shallow water has accentuated horseshoe shape carapage hard dorsal shell and the broad abdomen which has the long tail son 
During mating, they come to this river. So one is a worship crab. It belongs to the subclass Hyphosaurida. Or Cyphosaurida. I don't know how it is. How should I pronounce it? But Cyphosaurida. Carabase, which is those cut shell, and then has a long tail zone. So, tail zone is yeah. shallow waters. And during mating season, it's So, if you look at it, it's a TikTok, it's a TikTok, it's mating season to ang a TikTok, it's a TikTok, it's a TikTok, it's a TikTok, Abi nila makaon. Nawa to sa TikTok ngayon ang gimukbang. Nung ko dito na makaon. Ay. Adipin, di amot. Buhi po pa ka to. Mas na. Hmm. The subclass ay Posorida or the horseshoe crabs. Again, we have the class mes Merostomata which contains your, rip your Ripterids and Siphosorids. It has the subclasses of Eurypterida and the Siphosaurida. Next is class Pycnodonida. It is the sea spiders. It has 100 species of sea spiders occupying the marine. Spiders are millimeters long but some are larger into 0 0.75 meters. Thin body and has four pairs of appendages. Ovigers present in male, not in female. And it is a use to carry the developing eggs. So in this part, ovigers is present in male and not in female. And the one who's been carrying the eggs is the male. And the one who produced the egg is the female. Chalicerae is called chelifors in this group. The mouth is located at the tip of a long proboscis. The heart is located in dorsal. Nymphon is the largest genus with 200 species. Next slide is the example of the sea spider. As you can see, you can locate the chelicerae, the proboscis, the pedipalps, the prosoma, the dorsal tubercle with eye and the opisthosoma or the abdomen. This class Arachnida. Class Arachnida includes spiders, scorpions, pseudoscorpions, whip scorpions, ticks, mites, and etc. They are the free living animals most common in warm region. It has 800,000 species have been diverse. The first arthropod to move into terrestrial habitat. So this class Arachnida are the one who move into a terrestrial habitat. It has two tagmata, the cephalothorax or the head and the thorax and the abdomen where the respiratory houses. Tagmata. Tagmata is a specialized group of body, body parts. Next. Class Arachnida sucks its own way of eating. So the way they eat is through sucking. Next. They have fangs or the chalicerae and claw or the pedipalps. Next slide is the example of class Arachnida. So as you can see, there are scorpions, there are spiders. Now, let's move on to our next is the order Aranae or the spiders. They are the large group of arachnids having 40,000 species knowing from Silurian period. Spider's body is compact. It has a cephalothorax and the abdomen, both unsegmented and joined by a slender pedicel. Interior appendages includes a pair of chalicerae that has two fangs which run ducts from venom glands, a pair of leg-like pedipalps used by males to transfer sperms, and four pairs of walking legs. Spiders are predaceous. Some spiders respire using book lungs or a system called trachea. It also has an 
independently involved into a unique excretory system of Malpighian's tube. Some spiders also have coxal gland. These coxal glands help the spider to um, to create web good for them, and that web also helps them in in their reproduction and also in eating their food. Spiders usually have eight simple simple eyes. If human has two eyes, then the spiders has eight eight simple eyes. Next slide is the example of the inner part of the spider. As you can see, you can determine the pedipalp, the chelicerae, the book lungs, the silk gland, the spinnerets, the malphigian tube. Spider webs are quite elaborate, right? Have you ever wondered how spiders learn to make such complex geometrical patterns? So, making webs is instinctive for spiders, which means nobody has to teach them how to do it. Another question, why do spiders spin webs? The main reason spiders spin its webs is because it uses it to catch their dinner. When an insect, such a fly, flies into, flies into the spider webs, it gets stuck on the sticky threads. And when a spider catches up the prey in the sticky strand of its web, it approaches the trapped insect and use it, uses its fangs to inject venom. So here shows how their webs look like and what is the use of their webs. Moving forward. So here shows the process of reproduction of a spider. Before mating, a uh, courtship should be done. And after the courtship, the male deposits a drop of, the, of his sperm and then picks up the sperm and stores it in uh, special cavities on the pedipalps. Pedipalps are joint and look somewhat like a small legs. And then he will start, and he will insert his pedipalps into the female genital opening. Afterwards, the female spider lays her egg in a cell, and it will hatch after two weeks. Here shows the brown recluse spider and black recluse spider. The brown recluse spider gets its name from its tendency to hide in a dark or secluded areas, such as inside a closet. This type of spider has a venomous bite that can cause skin necrosis or the death of skin tissue. While the black widow spiders are known for its distinctive marking on the underside of their abdomen, the venom of this spider is neurotoxic, which means it affects the nervous system. While here shows the camouflage crab spiders and regal jumping spiders. Camouflage crab spiders are a type of spiders known for their ability to change their color, change the color of their bodies to match their surroundings. They are called crab spiders because of their ability to move sideways like a crab. This type of spiders are not considered to be harmful to humans and do not have the venom that is dangerous to people. While the regal jumping spiders are called regal because of their colorful appearance. This type of spiders are known for their excellent vision and are able to see prey from a several distance. Like the camouflage crab spiders, regal jumping spiders are not venomous to humans and also and are generally not considered to be a threat to humans. So here are the orders under the subphylum Chalicerata. So we have here the first order of the subphyla Chalicerata, the order Scorpiones or Scorpions. Scorpions are predatory arachnids of the order Scorpiones. They have eight legs and are easily recognized by the pair of grasping pedipalps and the narrow segmented tail 
often carried in characteristic forward curve over the back, ending with a venomous stinger. There are almost 2,000 scorpion species, but only 30 or 40 have strong enough poison to kill a person. Scorpions mostly recognizable and obvious characteristics are the exaggerated pair of claws, the long thin tail that is often curved over the back of the scorpion, and the stinger at the end of the tail that is used to inject venom. Heterometros wilmerdami, commonly called the giant forest scorpion, holds the record for being the world's largest scorpion species at 23 cm in length and it can weigh as much as 56 grams. The most venomous scorpion is the death stalker, belonging to the Bothidi family. The death stalker is distributed in arid desert and scrubland regions throughout the Middle East and North Africa. Scorpions have a wide variety of predators. Scorpions are preyed upon by giant centipedes, tarantulas, mammals such as meerkats, pallid bats, shrews, grasshopper mice, birds, particularly hornbills and owls, and reptiles in particular geckos and toads. Humans also consume scorpions in some parts of the world. Next is the order Solpogeda, the sun or camel spider. Sun spider, formerly Solpogeda, also spelled sun spider, also called sun scorpion, wind scorpion, or camel spider. Any of more than 1,000 species of the arthropod class Arachnida, whose common name refers to their habitation of hot, dry regions as well as their typically golden color. Solifugae are an order of arachnids that are neither spiders nor scorpions and are notable for their intimidating jaws. The main difference between solifugae and spiders is that solifugae lack the ability to spin webs as a result of having no spinnerets and silk-producing organs. Camel spiders are actually not spiders at all. They are solifugae arachnids, a new species of arachnids. A sun spider is not venomous, but they do have a very strong jaw and can cause a nasty bite if provoked. Next is the order Opoliones harvestmen. The Opoliones are an order or arachnids colloquially known as harvestmen, harvesters, harvest spider, a daddy, long legs. As of April 2017, over 6,650 species of harvestmen have been discovered worldwide, although the total number of extant species may exceed 10,000. The common name, daddy long legs, likely came about because of their small, oval body and long legs, and the name harvestmen because they are most often seen in large numbers in the fall around harvest time. They are not spiders, but opilionids. Unlike spiders, they have a fused body form and lock silk and venom glands. Most harvestmen have two eyes, although there are eyeglass or eyeless species. Harvestmen pose absolutely no danger to humans, and they have one year to live. Additionally, harvestmen do not regenerate their legs even if lost before maturity. Contrary to other arthropods that regenerate legs after molting. According to the Guinness World Records, the Sydney funnel web spider, Atrox robustus, is the most dangerous spider to humans in the world. Native to Australia, this poisonous spider is found in most habitats such as under logs or gardens. Lastly is the order Akari, ticks and mites. Mites, including ticks, are traditionally grouped in a taxon called Akari, with more than 54,000 known species and an 10 to 20 times this yet to be discovered or described. Mites are the most diverse group of arachnids. Ticks hate the smell of lemon, orange, cinnamon, lavender, pipi ferment, and rose 
geranium so they'll avoid latching onto anything that smells of those items submerging a tick in original listerine or rubbing alcohol will kill it instantly they are mostly seen on dogs katong mura siya kuto sa ero man siguro ang tawag nila ana and sayo na siya pati yun through alcohol Subphylo myriaphoda. The term myriaphod meaning many fruits. This describes the four classes in subphylum of myriaphoda that have evolved a pattern of two tagmata, which is the head on trunk with paired on most or all trunk segments. Myriapods include chylophoda, which is the centipedes, diploda, which is the millipedes, the poropoda, which is the poropods, and the symphilia, which is the symphilians. Myriapods use trachea to carry respiratory gases directly to and from all body cells in a manner similar to that of onychophorans and some arachnids but tracheal systems have likely evolved independently in each group Excre excretion in, mir in myriaphodes is usually by malphigian tubules but these have evolved independently of malphigian tubules found in chilicerata so all myriaphodes are terrestrial and can be found in many environments such as moist forests, grasslands, and deserts. So the following are the four classes in subphylum of myriaphoda. First is the class Chylophoda, followed by the class Di Diplopoda, the third one is the class Paurophoda, and lastly is the class Symphyla. Symphyla. The first class in subphylum Myriaphoda is the class Chelophoda or Chelophoda. So Chelophoda is known as centipedes, are land form and somewhat um, flattened body. So centipedes prefer uh, moist places such as under logs, bark, and stones. They are very uh, agile carnivores and they live in cockroaches, in other insects, and on earthworms. So they kill their prey with their venom claws and then chew it with their mandibles. So the largest uh, centipede in the world is known as Scolopendra gigantea, which has nearly 30 cm in length. There are also the common house centipede, which is uh, named as Scotogera, which have 15 pairs of legs and are much smaller and often seen uh, scurrying under the uh, or around the bathrooms and dump cellars where they catch insects. So most centipedes or most species of centipedes are harmless to humans, although uh, many tropical centipedes are dangerous. So there are about 3,000 species worldwide. So, centipede bodies may contain from a few to 177 segments. So, each segment except the one behind the head and last two in the body bears a pair of jointed appendages. Oh no, a jointed legs rather. So, appendages of the first body segments are modified in a form of venom claws. So the last pair of legs is longer than the others and serve as um, a sensory function. So the head appendages are similar to those of an insect. So there are a pair of um, 
Antony, a pair of Monday balls, and one or two pair of maxillae. So a pair of eyes on the dorsal side of the head of the centipedes consists of group of ocelli or ocelli. So when it comes to the digestive system of a centipede, uh, the digestive system is a straight tube into which a salivary glands empty at an anterior end. Two pairs of malfigian tubules empty into the hind part of the intestines. So there is an elongated heart with a pair of arteries to each segment which um, the heart has a series of ostia to provide for return of blood from the hemocoil. So when it comes to respiration, uh, the respiratory system of centipede is by means of tracheal system of branched air tubes that come from a pair of spiracles in each segment. So the nervous system is typically arthropodan and, and there is also a visceral nervous system. So the sexes of Calophoda are separate uh, with unpaired gonads and paired ducts. So some centipedes lay their eggs and others are viviparous. So the young are similar in form to adults and do not undergo metamorphosis. So the picture shown in the uh, slides are example of Kilophoda or centipedes. So familiar man siguro na. Dagan kay na siya sa so the second class in the phylum Myriapoda is the class Diplophoda. So Diplophoda are commonly called millipedes, which literally means thousand feet. So millipedes are not active as uh, centipedes as they walk with slow, graceful motion and not wriggling as centipedes do. So they, pref they prefer dark, uh, moist places under logs and, or stones and most millipedes are herbivorous uh, which they are feeding on decayed plant matter. Although um, some millipedes uh, they eat living plants. So millipedes are slow moving animals and they may roll into a coil when disturbed. So murag ma eh ma imo silang ma ma kuanan kay murag mo mag muli mo likos gana siya. Muna ang mga millipedes. And Many millipedes also protect themselves from predation by secreting toxic or repellent fluids from special glands, which is the repugnatorial glands positioned along the sides of the body. So a common example of this class are Spirobulus and Julius, so both of which have a wide distribution. So, there are more than um, 10,000 species of millipedes worldwide. So, in anakadaghan ang millipedes. And the cylindrical body of a millipede is formed by 25 to more than 100 segments. So, their short thorax consists of four segments, each bearing one pair of legs. So, each abdominal segment has two pair of legs, leading to the impression of a thousand feet. So, the millipede exoskeleton is reinforced with calcium carbonate. So, their head bears two clumps of simple eyes and a pair of each antennae, mandib mandibles, and maxillae. So, the general body structures are similar to uh, those of centipedes. So, two pairs of spiracles in each abdominal segments open into 
into air chambers that connect to tracheal air tubes. So this, there are two genital apertures towards the anterior end. So in most millipedes, uh, the appendages of the seventh segments are specialized as copulatory organs. So after millipedes copulate, females lay eggs in a nest and guard them carefully. So interestingly, larval forms have only one pair of legs to each segment. So the two pictures shown in the slides are an example of millipedes. So kanisha kita chukuk dagan ani sa mo akay naman idagan sa mong balay sa bukid and once gani mo na siya si Ligon kay mo liko siya mo mo ano siya mo ano ano siya chuk perma so yung mo na sila nga makabuta ko no I don't know if you know since ang nakain mo sa dere mo secret sila o katong repellent fluid all. Class Pyropoda are a group of small body spiropods, almost 500 species, less well known class of Myropoda. They live in a moist soil, leaf litter, decaying fruits and vegetables, a small head and has no true eyes. Trachase, spiracles, and circulatory system are lacking, close related to diplopods. Class Pyropoda are a group of small terrestrial invertebrates that superficially resemble tiny centipedes or millipedes. There are approximately 500 known species are found worldwide under the dead leaves, stones, and rotten wood. So, if we say mga katumak find sa makita nga sa mga rotten wood, it is what we call anay. The next slide, this slide shows the example of the class Pyropoda, o di ba? Mura siya mga worm-like, worm yun siya, na mura siya resog na akong sa anay, o anay yun siya. Yeah. And the last class is the class Simphila. Are small, have centipede-like bodies, lives in humus, leaf molds, and debris, often pest on vegetables and flowers, are soft-bodied, has 14 seg segments, with 12 of which bare legs, and a pair of spinrids, eyelids and the eyeless and the only base on their antennae. 160 species are described. So, muna siya ang last na class, which is the class Simphila. Kanaganing mga rasyag millipedes, na color mo rasyag transparent, nga na yung pagkaputi. Then, wala. Dili siya para sa millipedes, nga na yung mata. Ang millipedes has, has a pair of eye. Ang kanisya kayo, wala. It has no sense of sight yet. They have their antennae for them that serves as their sensory organ. One is an example sa class, this class, di ba? Mura siya worm-like, ay kanang mura siya centipedes, pero you can see where his eyes, where the eyes is. Na siya itaas kaya ang antennae, which is as described, muna siya yung sensory organ. Okay, for the status and conservation, they are not extinct since there are many species in the said families of the Celicerate and the Myriapods. Yeah, they are extinct. So meaning, in their family, in the family, in the class, in those said classes of the myriapods still they are they napasa diri buhi pa yung mga kaliwat mga yan ala so meaning hindi siya extinct even if saan na lang ang habili hindi ka masyadong classified as extinct pero naghano na sila so hindi siya extinct this would be the last slide thank you and have a nice day